I love taking a simple idea and bringing it to life. When I was in elementary school, I wrote superhero books as a way to bring some of my ideas to life. I named my own character Sidekick Jason. I ended up writing 15 different superhero books, but I eventually got tired of it being only words on paper. I wanted to see my thoughts and ideas come to life. One evening in 2009, I was watching some videos on YouTube and ran across some videos where an individual had taken Toy Thomas trains, made a grass floor, a sky background, and used them to create funny short stories. I realized that this was something I could do myself. I could make my thoughts more than just words on paper. When I sat down to plan my own videos, I had lots of options. I could do parodies and joke about the trains. I could make my own interesting universe with some of these characters. But in the end, I decided to stick as close and true to the original Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends series that I grew up with. I wanted to share with kids the same joy I experienced at a young age. I first came across Thomas when I was two years old. My mother was watching some of my cousins and put one of their favorite VHS tapes on. It happened to be a Thomas and Friends sing-along video, and I was absolutely fascinated by it. I watched that video over and over again, just fascinated by these talking trains. I would put my fingers together and bounce my hand along to follow the little steam cloud that would hop over the words. I don't know how many times I watched that video, but even at two years old, my mom commented to others about just how obsessed with Thomas I was. He likes trains? No! There was nothing I loved more. For my third birthday, my parents searched around and eventually purchased several of the Ertl diecast Thomas trains. When I opened them up on my birthday, no other present mattered. All I wanted to do was play with those trains. My parents loved seeing how much joy these trains brought me. Sadly though, two weeks after that third birthday, my mother passed away from a heart defect. As a three-year-old, my life turned upside down. The one individual who was always there for me was suddenly gone and I couldn't comprehend it. The days following, I would cry to my dad, just wanting to see my mother again. I didn't understand then what had happened. I couldn't figure out where she was, and I was just so sad and confused. But I think before my mother left, she definitely set me up on the right path. The Thomas and Friends TV series that I grew up with was based off of a series of books written by the Reverend Wilbert Audrey, who served in the Church of England. He used these stories to teach his son and many others life lessons and values. Through the talking trains, he taught the value of friendship, working together, the importance of trust and honesty, and that with enough determination, you can accomplish your dreams. I've tried to follow in the Reverend's footsteps as I've created my own stories, because I believe that is what my mother would want me to do, to share a message of kindness and love with others, and overall help make the world a better place. I think my mom is proud of who I am and what I've done. When my mother died, I found the small world of trains a distraction from the heartache that I did not understand. How does any young child know how to comprehend the sudden loss of a parent they trust, depend on, and love? I found comfort in creating stories around the very toys my mother had lovingly provided me before departing. We've been looking long and hard for these pieces, haven't we? Your mom wanted to make sure you got all of them. And it looks like we did. But I couldn't stay buried in my make-believe world forever. I knew in my heart of hearts that I'd have to face the reality of a world without mom. Gratefully, I had a wonderful father, brother, and extended family who have lovingly supported me as I grew up without a mother by my side. With the support of loved ones, my life has recovered. But something else was happening along the way that at the time I did not realize and only looking back could I begin to appreciate. I'm older now, with the benefit of some maturity and some life experience behind me. And here is what I've learned. Life is a journey. For me, I like to compare it to a journey by rail. Each of us have departed from a station with an ultimate destination marked on our souls. Along the way there are big hills we must pass over that challenge every ounce of our strength and sometimes cause great billows of smoke to rise high above us in frustration. Other times we reach the summit of the mountain pass and the vista is breathtaking as we coast back down, again on our way to the next station along life's railway. On our route we have to pass through long dark tunnels and trust that there is safety on the other side. Sometimes a bridge is washed out, other times a landslide has removed the rails altogether. In those moments, we must rely on the assistance and care of rescuing crews who come to our aid to rebuild the line and get us back on track again. Believe it or not, there are times when the rails are long, straight, and even just boring. There are also sidings, rail yards, and roundhouses where we meet others on our journeys. Today I do know where my mother is. I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, 
also known as Mormons, and I believe in eternal families. I believe that I will see her again after this life. I know what my mother is doing, and I know that she is watching over me. Because of her, Thomas has a special place in my heart, even as an adult. It's one of the reasons why I decided to create my own series, because I feel close to her doing it. The essential lesson I have learned in all of this is that I have come from somewhere special. My journey here on Life's Rails is meaning, and I am heading towards a destination that ultimately will return me to live with my mother and loved ones again. It is there, in that Grand Central Station where I will meet the creator of everything, and realize that my journey was of value, and that he loves me and was aware of my path all along the way. I am forever grateful for a loving Heavenly Father who has never left me alone. I know that he has created this incredible world full of wonder, beauty, and exciting experiences for me and for you in order to give us knowledge and wisdom and insight that will go with us as we journey down the paths we are destined to travel. To learn more about how millions like me have gained a knowledge of where we come from, why we are here, and where we are going after this life, then check out www.mormon.org. I'm Jason Hatfield. Thanks for watching.